What's going on guys, Ryan with Jet Patrol back with another video today. The long, very long awaited Hot Toys Captain America from Avengers Endgame. Let's open it up. That's right guys, we're back with another video today. Super excited about this one. We've been waiting for this for like two years. It feels like, it's been like, it's been, it's been a while. It's been a minute since we've had this figure. And with the last Avengers Endgame release, which was Hot Toys uh, Mark 85, and the controversy with that portrait, and everybody's just going, you know, flipping crazy with that thing. So much so that Hot Toys actually, you know, backed up and punted on the portrait. Um, this one, they changed it again. Like they, they changed it. So we, we, got a, we got a new portrait of this, which from the initial uh, blogger photos, promo photos, looks, amazing but we're definitely going to make our own decisions based on that uh which is what is in the box so a couple things one i did have the d23 captain america and i you can check out the review of that one up here that figure was a letdown so it will not be featured in today's video i sold that thing long ago it just it's just not a good figure and for those people who spent like twelve hundred fifteen hundred dollars on that figure in the secondary market because they didn't have the patience to get this one or or they just really want super limited things i feel bad for them because i have a feeling we'll find out here in a minute i have a feeling this is going to be far superior to that particular uh figure so i will not be including it however we will do a comparison between this one uh we'll do age of ultron cap we'll do infinity war cap we'll do uh concept art cap which i know everybody's super excited about to figure out you know what's going on with that uh, because a lot of people have asked me to put the new portrait on the concept art cap which we will definitely do but first we should actually unbox the figure let's take a look at the box we've got it right here this guy is just looking all kinds of awesome we've got captain america right here mms 536 looking good a uh, nice little slip cover design for these avengers endgame boxes uh we're not gonna spend a lot of time on the box but i do want to showcase it for a little bit avengers endgame we got cap with the giant avengers logo going through here kind of a matte finish with a little bit of a gloss going right here if you can see that kind of in the light a little bit of gloss action right there on the side here boom we've got captain america i uh, love this little like space you know theme they've got going on here with the gold emblem here uh the gold emblem here and then on the back we've got it continues on with all your whodunits and warnings and all that kind of stuff if you're curious what's on the top and the bottom uh, it says it says cap and then on the bottom it actually says avengers in game but let's go ahead and kind of get this slip cover off of this thing boom there we go we've got it going on we got a nice little uh, window box going on here this is i don't know really why they do this but it's fine we you know i'm that's fine they did this with d23 cap they had a little window thing it's fine. Uh, I would just rather they just give me a box and the, the artwork. And the, we don't have any artwork with them. That's that's the thing I don't like. We don't have any like art inserts or anyways. Uh, anyways, Captain America logo right there. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. If you guys are excited about this, let me know. Hit the like button and comment down below if you're hyped for this thing. Now, you might be wondering to yourself, how the heck did you get this thing so fast? Because it's not available, and where's mine? Because I pre-ordered mine with Sideshow or some other places in the States, and you might be wondering, where the heck did you get this, and how do I get one? Well, I actually got this from Pop Collectibles. You can check them out on Instagram down below. Their website should be up any day now. should be very soon. Uh, but I actually picked this up from them. I get all my first batch figures from them. All right, so let's take a look at all this stuff we've got coming with. We have the shields, which we're obviously we're going to get a solid shield which is not going to be die cast i imagine and then we've got the nice little broken up shield curious to see if they fix that one because that was a major point of contention with uh the actual end game or sorry the d23 cap let's see what all we got here all these plastic bits and bobs there we go okay all right so we got a whole bunch of stuff here we've got mjolnir pretty nice that is definitely not die cast but you can see right there we'll take a closer look at that in just a second let's get the shields out of the way we're gonna get a bunch of hands we're gonna get that's wait a minute we are supposed to get a brand new chris evans portrait and it's supposed to blow away the other chris evans portraits we got but that doesn't look quite right hold on guys something's off about this thing this is not the portrait 
I was expecting, to be quite honest with you. That's, uh, that's not, that's not right. And uh, let's get our first impressions of this because everybody wants to see this. Holy freaking God, that's amazing. Dude, come on. Woo, man, I'm stoked for this. This is so different than the one they uh, teased us with in the uh, promo photos when everything went up for pre-order. But man, that's gonna look good on the actual figure. That's an interesting hairline they've got going on there. Like you're, you're used to seeing stuff like that, but that one's actually quite pronounced. That hairline's a little weird. Uh, it reminds me of, uh, what's another figure? Uh, Tarkin, I think Tarkin had that deal going on. I, I don't, I mean, you're not gonna see if you're looking at it like this. If you put it under a bright light like I'm doing and throw a bunch of uh, megapixels at it, you can, you can see that. But that's freaking beautiful, can't wait to see what that's like on the actual figure. And we'll definitely break out some other uh, portraits at the end of the video and compare these things, but good Lord, that's good looking. Whew, man, that's good looking. Okay, so let's put you off to the side. We're gonna get a pile of hands. We're gonna get the figure itself and we're gonna get, oh, hold on, ho, 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 this looks way larger. And that's gonna be still impossible to get out of the box, isn't it? Are you gonna be impossible? Oh, good, there you go, okay. Woo. All right, that's way bigger than the last one we got. That other one was super tiny. But anyways, all right, let's put that aside. Let me get all these accessories out of here and uh, see what we got. All right, so now that we got all the accessories out of the plastic and out of the box, I don't have to deal with any of that. So we do have a couple things going on. Certainly not as many accessories as we saw the D23 cap, which is just fine uh, because I, honestly, I think this is, this is all you need. The D23 cap came with uh, Loki's uh, saber, you know, spike thing, um, and uh, the other uh, uh, Mjolnir actually had a light-up function, which this one does not. It also has those lightning effects. This particular one does not light up. There's no battery compartment in there. And honestly, I'm not even upset at that because the battery life on that was freaking terrible, uh, just like any other Hot Toys piece. Um, it just, it just didn't light up. But the beauty, look at this thing. That is gorgeous. And some people complain it's not die cast, but honestly, it's less weight for the figure to hold. Uh, posing wise, shouldn't be an issue. I mean, so I kind of, I'm in, in on that. Uh, but yeah, look, there you go, guys. Nice little sculpts going on there. And nice band and nice little pleather attachment going on there. I think this is purely, honestly, all you need out of a freaking Mjolnir. I mean, that that's all you need. So uh, I kind of dig that one. So that's, there's that, we need that. Obviously one of the most amazing scenes in all of Avengers right there that 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 it just had to have it so uh, it, the, the d23 ones got a little bit better on that one because of the light up function but again the battery sucked the, the light function actually wasn't all that great we do have a new helmet an unhelmeted uh, sculpt here and um, it's definitely different it's definitely different than the previous ones we got like this thing is uh, uh, more stout more wide short it's definitely different uh it paint apps look nice you can see it's very very dark very weathered going on in here this is absolutely awesome love the a on there obviously going to have that but this is just something he can hold in his hand there's no you know, interior anything going on with that it's just a plastic helmet and uh i think they did a really good job i love the the wash going on here and the texture as you can see right there uh, so big fan of that. I like that quite a bit. That's pretty awesome. And like I mentioned earlier, just in the video is this little compass with uh, Peggy's photo in it. This is so much larger than the previous one. The previous one was just freaking, it was just not even worth taking out of the box. This is not something I would see anybody actually posing their Captain America with, but it's one of those things to say, if you wanted to, you could. That's one. Of, that's that's kind of what I these see is a little deal. But it's nice. Got a little compass action on here. Got Peggy's photo on there. It's really tough to focus. So so small. Uh, nice little. Uh, I know you can't probably see this, but ridges going on all around the compass. All right. Uh, no, yeah, I might be able to pick that up right there. It doesn't. Uh, I mean, it just closes. So there's that. So that's kind of a nice feature. Nice little uh, gold paint going on here with the black. Nice piece. Uh, won't ever use it. I don't think. But, you know, who knows? I don't know. Uh, Hands-wise, we got two fisted hands that are actually on the figure, and then we got these normal Captain America hands that we've seen so many times. So many times we've seen these things. So we've got two uh, shield grasping hands. These are a complete nightmare. 
I hate these shields that you have to wrap around here and then you got it, it, these just suck they say these take the most time out of posing a Captain America figure than anything else in the whole in the box the figure the torso the legs whatever is getting these freaking hands on the shield uh, so that's why I picked up the age of Ultron cap so I wouldn't have to deal with that but uh, here we go but we do have a call it a shield throwing hand grasping hand uh, we've got his uh, open po open uh, palm hand that we've seen a hundred times and then we have the whole you know Avengers uh, assemble hand right there which is pretty sick so uh, basic hands we've seen these a pile of times nothing really uh, exciting to write home about right there we do have this display base which I dig I like this I dig the colors got like a little magenta and purple thing going on and uh, I kind of dig this little gloss section on the uh, flat on that side it says cap right there I only use these if uh, the figure is in a pose that I think might fall over otherwise these just never see the light of day for my collection but uh, you know it's a stand is what it is it's not gonna come with a dynamic stand it's got a crotch grabber it would have been pretty cool for cap to come with a dynamic stand honestly he could have done some cool stuff and probably when I'm doing posing uh, either in this video or another video I will most likely borrow a stand that has a dynamic stand on maybe an Iron Man figure or something so I can have some fun with it but um, that's the beauty of having uh, lots of figures is you can steal stands from them so there's that all right so Ah, let's get into this. Let's get into this. And I just noticed I've got one piece of plastic right there I've got to take off. Let's see if we can't make that happen. Is this going to be difficult like Nebula? Is it going to be tough? Oh, no, it's not. All right. Oh, that was easy. That was super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Let's see if we can get that peg back in there real easy. Done. All right, that didn't take long at all. All right, so this right here totally different sculpt from the uh, age of ultron civil war any of those caps that we've had with the helmeted uh, sculpt this is totally different totally different we'll do a comparison in a little bit but dude and one reason i like the helmeted sculpt is for the posing action so it's got this split at the neck that you guys just saw and he can do all this crazy bend stuff whereas if you're using this guy not so much like he's attached at the neck so it's kind of a tough thing but that right there the proportions on that look fantastic i'm noticing the traps here look good shoulders look good like that's a good looking proportion cap now the only way to know if it's better is to actually break out the concept art cap and we'll do that in a little bit but um right now it's it definitely looks better than d23 d23 i remember had no traps whatsoever it's flat it almost was like the civil war cap uh where it's just like you know a really like a long neck uh and here they, it looks like they've shortened the neck a little bit and raised that collar up a little bit so that looks way better i mean just way way better the buckles are definitely fixed that was the point of uh, contention with the d23 cap so the buckles are fixed they look way better because they were super super tiny on that version uh the star looks pretty much the same it doesn't look they made it any bigger but it doesn't look bad so yeah i kind of dig it i love the little wash they've got going on with the scales a little silver wash they've got going on i like that he's been to some battle damage that's awesome definitely some heavy uh pattern you can i mean you can feel the ridges and whatnot going on in this armor the scales come on dude come on dude there's the right oh or his left um really 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 big fan what are you guys thinking right now i mean this is your first impressions let me know in the comment section or if you're watching this on the premiere let me know in the live chat this is oh man it's gorgeous i think we're gonna have some issues getting the shoulder to go in the arms to go by the side because of all this stuff going on here uh, but we'll, we'll work with that in a little bit but that star looks great the buckles look great this right here looks great definitely a uh, a battle damage or worn look on here versus uh, age of ultron which is really bright white and red uh, so there's that the buckles look pretty normal this doesn't look like anything crazy that we haven't seen before the material if anybody's wondering if you have the infinity war captain america uh, exactly the same material it's that rubbery plasticky material for the actual armor on the the clothing so if you have Infinity War cap, it's exactly the same uh, as this. So there you go. Man, look at the back. Look at that. This looks so much better. Even, oh, you see the traps going on. It looks so much better. So much better. This, however, 
is not America's ass. I got. I mean, can we can we can we be real? Like that's if that's not America's ass. That's somebody's, but it's not America's. So hot toys. You add padding and stuff all over the place. What you should have added some. Should have added. You should add some putty. Right? Anyways, um, really dig this. All right. So as far as range of motion, let's go ahead and get into this thing. Have some fun, and then we'll actually do some poses. Uh, we'll flip out in just a second, and we'll 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 change this guy out. Uh, but we'll uh, we've got these guys. Almost forgot about those. These portraits. These magnetic portraits. Uh, change outs at the bottom. Yeah. Let's go ahead and change a couple of these out. So all right. What do you guys think of that one? I like that one. Like when he was. Um, uh, grabbing the uh, uh, the shield and he was like pulling it tight kind of made that face I kind of like that one what do you guys think there it is from the side I kind of dig that one I, I really really like in the proportions of this helmet guys it is way different uh, than the other ones we got all right let's change this other one out let's have some fun with this this is what it looks like right now <laughs> Oh, that was weird. Okay, there we go. There's this one. What do you guys think? Which one do you like the best? Which one do you like the best? It depends on the pose, right? Depends on which one you're, uh, how you're posing your figure. But we've got this uh, cheese one, which we've seen before. This one, I don't think we've seen before. I don't think we've seen that one before. And then this one. And just depending on which one you want to do. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. So let's have some fun with this. Uh, while we're sitting here, let's just go ahead and change out this head sculpt and put the other unhelmeted un uh, portrait on it. And it uh, shouldn't be too difficult to do. There we go. There we go. He's out. Boom. Done. All right. Let's see if we can't make this work. Guys, I'm excited about this. I really am. Really quite excited about having a new cap in the collection and and I'm really looking forward to the 2012 cap um, That we got uh, coming soon. I hope All right, if you're gonna peg on there for me, that would be awesome. Sometimes these want to be a little difficult Okay, there we go. Oh good gracious <laughs> Oh, you guys can't even see this yet, but holy crap Look at this Woo. Good man, oh, that's freaking beautiful. Look at that. I mean, seriously, look at this. Like right, like right there. Tell me that's not Chris Evans. Tell me. If you do, you're lying. Dude. Like even side portrait looks pretty good. But like three quarters? That's freaking, I'm so excited for you guys that have this figure coming for your collection. So excited for you uh, because honestly, it, this is gonna look so awesome on the shelf with a bunch of other uh, Captain America, or if it's, maybe this is your own, maybe it's your first figure uh, and it's a freaking good one to be your first figure. Look at those eyes, guys. Definitely more blonde, as you can see up here, definitely a lot more blonde than we've seen in other uh, sculpts. But man, I just, I can't, I can't get over this. This is freaking gorgeous. I don't, we haven't even taken a look at the shield yet, but here, here, there's a shield. It's plastic. It's got dirt on it. It's got those stupid straps on the back, which I absolutely hate. There's that. Here's the broken shield. They did fix the way it's supposed to go. So it goes on the arm the correct way it was broken in the film. So that's nice. Nice little dirt action going on there. And you got these bits of uh, pieces you can use uh, for your display base. These are plastic, by the way, the whole thing's plastic. Uh, so there's that. Okay, there's that. Let's look at this. This is flipping gorgeous. Man. All right, so let's, while we've got it here, let's mess with a little bit of articulation. We're definitely gonna pose this guy up. We're gonna have some fun with it. Um, but in this video may be uh, an hour long. I don't even know. Uh, but uh, I'm sure if you're watching this, you don't even care. So let's go ahead and have some fun with this guy because we're about collecting. Like, I'm not here. Let, I let me be clear. I'm not here to try and sell you this figure. That is not what my channel is about. That's not what I do. I don't want this to be an advertisement. I don't want it to be a commercial for you. This is about freaking collecting awesome things. All right. And I'll straight up tell you if something's garbage. But this right here, this is not garbage. This is 
freaking glorious. So, excuse my excitement. I've got other figures that I just, yeah, anyways, this one is six. Let's take a look at the range of motion. Obviously, we just saw a little, a little bit at the, the head with the uh, helmet on. You can pretty much do whatever you want. The arms, now, he's got so much armor, guys. There's only going to be so much we can do with this thing, so let's have some fun. They did not give us ratcheted arms. Oh, my God. If they put the ratcheted body on here like they did the heavy Mando, like it would, this would be like a 12 out of 10 if they had done that, but I don't think they have. So uh, range of motion is going to be pretty limited right there. And I think, yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty limited. Uh, and what's going to happen in the elbows is the material is going to bunch up. and uh, You're going to be able to do what you want there. But keep in mind, the material is going to be rubbing on the material. And you're going to have that. But it does look like, yeah, it looks like they've actually changed out the material. And that reminds me of like the, uh, the stealth suit Spider-Man a little bit. The material is a little different in the joint area, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, so I think it's safe from like damage or anything. That's kind of cool. As far as uh, will it move up or back, uh, it probably will. Let's see here. It's a you can feel a little bit of a yeah. There it goes. I mean, you can get it. It's it's as, it's a cap. I mean, it just is what it is. Not a whole lot going on there. So when I actually get to posing this thing, I will push it as far as it will go. And if I break it, I break it, whatever, I'll get another one. Uh, but you guys need to know these things. But uh, there's that. The ab crunch is going to be not bad. The only thing with the ab crunch is that this section starts to pull out. Uh, even though it's actually wrapped around, it looks a little weird. Uh, so be mindful of that. There's your ab crunch right there. Uh, torso twist. I mean... It's not a whole lot. You, I mean, you're gonna have to work it, and I don't want to break it here on camera. I'm gonna try not to, uh, but it does have a little bit of torso twist. Nothing crazy. Uh, going backwards, it can go back a little bit. I think most of our range of motion is gonna be in the legs. Oh wait, wait, wait. Ah. Okay, there, there we go. We're gonna go there. We're gonna be able to go back, and we're gonna have a double bend at the knee, which we're gonna be pretty much do whatever we want. The boots are split cut boots, like we've seen on every other cap. Thank the Lord, because honestly, if they've given us one of those Star Wars style like single boots, I'd have just just been pissed off. Uh, but they didn't do that. We've got split cut boots, definitely darker in color versus maybe uh, Age of Ultron, maybe or Civil War. It's a lot of black and brown uh, going on here, so mostly uh, black. Uh, shoe cover and then uh, uh, brown buckles and uh, there's the little if anybody wants to know There's caps tread of choice right there Dude, I'm so stoked with this thing super stoked uh, Before we get into posing, let's go ahead and break out some other figures and compare them and uh, let's just see how it matches up First up guys, we're gonna take a look at obviously Avengers Endgame cap and then I've got Age of Ultron cap. These are the two we've got right here. So I do have the portrait for this one as well. So we'll take a look at that. But look at the body proportion. So as his uh, shoulders here are fairly flat, this guy actually has some traps on him. The proportions on the bodies look, I mean, it looks significantly better on this. He's fairly wide in the shoulders here, uh, but you can see the color difference as well. The color, I mean, this is super vibrant, bright. Uh, and this is like I've been through battle going through craziness. Uh, so that's kind of cool going on right there. But I, I really, I really do kind of like this. And what I was going to say, the portrait here on the masked portrait on this one versus the one that comes with this new one. Number one, check out the color differences. Number two, look at the difference in sculpt. This, this one is significantly shorter. And it, it appears to be superior in my, it looks more, it looks more accurate, I think. Um, so yeah, I mean, look at that thing side by side. This is, this is definitely more accurate. This isn't bad for the time. Like, I mean, for Age of Ultron, when we got this figure, it's not a bad figure. Uh, this one is just, it's just better. Uh, so there's that. Uh, yeah, and I do have the Age of Ultron portrait. This body was nice though, because it will pretty much do whatever you want to do, because it's not freaking rubber, it's, it's fabric. But I do have the other portrait from Age of Ultron. In fact, I actually have two of them, because I bought I bought one uh, to uh, use on another figure, but there we go. So paint apps are definitely different. The sculpt is, I mean, these are two totally different people, right? Like this is Dolph Lundgren, and this is Chris Evans. Like, look at this. Whew. Man, 
And uh, he definitely was a little more blonde in Avengers Endgame than he was in it. The hair sculpt is different. You can see he's got that comb over thing going on here. Here's more parted on one side. And you guys can let me know which one you prefer, but I can tell you without a doubt the one I prefer is this guy. This one is gorgeous. Now this one isn't bad, okay? It's not bad, but this one is superior in my opinion. So there's that one. Next up, we're gonna take a look at Infinity War cap. Let me go ahead and uh, break that out here for you. Get these other guys out of the way. Uh, Infinity War cap, as far as the sculpt, clearly we know they are totally different figures. Not even close to the same person, actually. I mean, this is, this is, uh, this is not the best Chris Evans sculpt ever. Like, this one's not all that great. But compared to this one, it's really not that great. Right? But the body's good. Like, the, it's got the traps going under his shoulders good. The body's good. I don't, I don't, I like this one for that purpose. So I do like this one for that purpose. I like the look where he's got the short sleeves going on. So I dig that. I like the really, really battled up dirty one for that. Um, but this one definitely looks, this is Cap, right? That's, I mean, that's, that's, yeah, I think that's Cap. I mean, that portrait is just not Cap. Um, this one is. So similar material. Obviously he's missing the A because he was, you know, running away from uh, Sokovia. Uh, laws and whatnot the accord, uh, but there's that so I do have One more we definitely want to take a look at it and I'm gonna this makes me sad because I'm gonna have to break my pose I've got him in To actually do this and I really like this pose, but you guys asked for it. So I'm gonna do it uh, Let's see here if I can do this real quick. I'm not gonna remove the shield From this figure, but man this look this is a freaking gorgeous figure. Woo! And I know what you guys are gonna ask me to do. You're gonna ask me to put that head on this body. I'm gonna do that, because it's gonna be awesome. Uh, but here we are. So one thing to note, the, the shoulders on this one, way rounder. And it's actually, it feels like it's it's separate. It's definitely got more flexibility. Uh, underneath, it's like a uh, pleathery nylon kind of material going on down there. It's a really, really flexible. Uh, you can pretty much do whatever the heck you want him to do. All right, even if it had ratchet joints, that would be better. But I've said it before, look at this line. He's got the giant shoulders, the bolder shoulders. He's got the traps going on here, slims down. Everything about this is absolutely gorgeous. I said it time and time again, if this was red, white, and blue, this would be uh, the grail cap right here. It just, it just would, uh, but it's not. So here we are. Uh, but compared to this, which one wins? Let me get his head looking down a little bit more. Which one wins? I gotta say it guys, this one wins for me. Not because, uh, yeah, it just, there's something about it, it wins. It wins. I'm I will, I'm not selling this, it's not going nowhere, okay? I'm gonna be 100% honest, this is not going nowhere. This is gorgeous. This is better, okay? This is definitive cap for me. So I do wanna do this. I'm gonna put this sculpt on this body and see how it looks. I don't think it's gonna take me all that long. Uh, I've done it with other uh, portraits before, so we're gonna make that happen. And I apologize, this video is super, super long. No, I take that back, I don't apologize. This is just a good video. Just watch the whole flipping thing, it's all good. As I make this happen. Pop this head out, there we go. Sorry, cat. All right. Everybody's asked me to do this, I'm just gonna make this happen. Let's see if we can do it. If, if the peg size is the same, so let's see if we, because I think, yeah, let's see. Yeah. You ready? Don't even act like you're ready for this. You're not, you're not even ready. You're not even ready. There you go. Age of, uh, I'm sorry, in game cap head on, on concept art body. Does that change your mind? Does that make this the best cap? Is the portrait that good where it changes your mind? Right? That's pretty stinking good. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you guys. Like that's, this isn't a concept art video, but that's pretty stinking good. Look at that. Woo. Yeah. I mean, just take that in for a second. That's pretty, that's pretty good. All right, so we've been playing around. We've, uh, we looked at Age of Ultron cap. 
We looked at Infinity War cap, we looked at concept cap, we looked at our end game cap. Now it's time to throw some poses up on here and to have some fun and uh, see what the final thoughts are. But you guys already know it, it's best cap to date. I'm, I'm calling it. All right guys, here we go. The first pose we got, I wanted to throw cap up there with uh, the Iron Man Mark 85, because honestly, it's just flipping glorious. Uh, I also have Nebula up there from Endgame, and I've got Hawkeye slash Ronin, and I haven't reposed Ronin in so long uh, that uh, he's literally in the pose he's been in for a very long time. Uh, but we're going to talk about this guy. I have other figures uh, I haven't unboxed yet, so I've got Ant-Man, Wasp, Gamora, and Star-Lord in the lineup to uh, come unbox here very soon, and along with, um, dare I say it, uh, Batfleck. Uh, from uh, Justice League So uh, yeah, there's that's that happened, uh, but let's go ahead and look at some uh, some portraits as these guys kind of spin around here a little bit uh, That Ronin is beautiful, but this cap. This is what we're here to talk about guys This is absolutely unflipping believable how good this cap is look at this thing Look at that lighting look at that Chris Evans portrait look at the shield the broken shield the hammer I mean, just everything about this thing is absolutely glorious. And whatever angle you put it at, it looks good. Uh, along with, uh, there's uh, Iron Man Mark 85, uh, liftoff pose from my posing video I just did the other day. And then uh, here's Nebula, which Nebula is beautiful as well. I've reviewed all these figures. You can check them out on the channel if you like, uh, but they just look so great uh, together. And I'm pretty stoked to be able to, you know, continue building this uh, Avengers in-game display obviously soon Gamora Star-Lord and uh, Ant-Man and Wasp will be added to the display here shortly I'm not sure exactly what display I'm gonna make uh, but it's coming along but there is cap hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am I absolutely just flipping love this thing so happy it was worth the wait it was worth the wait but uh, let's go ahead and throw something else up there and see what we can come up with all right guys we got to talk about these two figures side by side so we've got concept art cap with the in-game portrait on the left and obviously in-game cap on the right so take a look at the bodies uh, there's some similarities going on here but they're definitely not the same uh, first off the material is different so there's that the materials on the arms on um, uh, concept cap are more like a spider-man type material on the arms uh, the shoulders are definitely a different um, De they're detached, I guess is the best way to put that. Uh, they're separate from the uniform, whereas on the uh, the end game cap, they're certainly not. Uh, but they both look gorgeous. I don't. It's, I'm having a hard time. I'm going back and forth. I think the portrait for me belongs on concept cap. I think it belongs there. I think it's great. It's definitely the best portrait we've had so far, as you saw earlier in the video, as we kind of uh, compare those guys. The body on these two, again, very similar. Very, very similar, but you know, definitely different. Um, the leg material is exactly the same. The knee armor on in-game cap, um, I hope doesn't become an issue. I hope it doesn't like come loose over time. I don't think it will, but I guess if you bend that a lot, it might, those actual armor plates might come off. Um, that might be a thing, I don't know. Um, but you know, just side by side, I'm, I'm happy to have both. Like I'm not even, I'm not even mad. I like, I'm, I'm happy to have both. I still think the concept cap body, the proportions are better, but in game cap is the cap to get. It just is, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, I mean, you get every, it's the nostalgia factor. He's got the hammer. He's got the multiple portraits. He's got the multiple um, mouth plating change out. He's got uh, the shields, the broken shields. He's got all, the, I mean, bang for the buck, beautiful figure. Which brings me to the point that I should have mentioned at the very beginning of the video, I'm actually giving away an in-game cap. So if you've made it this far in the video, congratulations. I'm actually giving away, uh, we have a contest going on right now. I'll put a link uh, in the description so you can actually go find it. Uh, we're actually giving away an in-game cap right now. Uh, the contest runs through March 3rd, I think. So you got a little bit of time uh, to enter that, but yeah, we're going. Obviously, you got to subscribe to the channel, so that's that's a thing. Um, but we're actually giving away one of those, so definitely check that out. Um, these two guys, look at that portrait, man! I'm super stoked. So I'm probably going to have to do like a dedicated posing video on Cap and some in, uh, Avengers in-game figures as, after I get some more unboxed. But I'm I'm super happy with it. 
So I hope you guys are too. If you like this video, hope you subscribe. Hope you join the Facebook group. Enter the contest for the in-game cap giveaway if you haven't already. The number one thing you gotta do is subscribe, obviously. Um, but um, I'm pretty stoked with this. Hope you guys liked it. And uh, we'll definitely do a posing video very soon. Stay tuned to the channel. I've got more unboxings coming, including a, not only the Batman from Justice League, I bought a second DC figure. Stay tuned to figure out what the heck that is because once you see it, your minds are gonna go, I'm gonna be blown. It's insane. I bought two DC figures in like a week, uh, one week, so it's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, super happy, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below uh, your thoughts on this and if you're excited about it. If you want to get a, a first batch or second batch figure early, check out Pop Collectibles. Obviously, check out uh, Sideshow Collectibles if you want to get the later batches as well. As always, click what you like. See you next time.